useful, has produced the desire for the possession of things, the exaltation of the possession of things. Hmm. Go through the business street of any city, look at the faces of people as they pass, and see what idea is written on their faces. Mm -hmm. On the women there is a sickening vanity, consciousness of their clothes. Look for the pride and glory of the free, strong, beautiful body, live, moving, and powerful. You will not see it. You will see mincing steps and eyes cast about, seeking admiration. And on the faces of the men, mm -hmm. coarse desires for coarse things, the abominable expression of lust mm -hmm. for things. Such is the dominant idea of the Western world, at least in these are days. You may see it wherever you look. Very likely, if you look in the glass, you will see it there. You know, but the dominant idea of the age and land does not necessarily mean the dominant idea of any single life. Today, the society of ours is dominated by thing worship. That is no reason that any single soul should be. Because the one thing seemingly worth doing to my neighbor, to all my neighbors, is to pursue dollars, that is no reason that I should pursue dollars. Because my neighbors conceive they need an inordinate heap of carpets, furniture, clocks, china, glass, tapestries, mirrors, clothes, jewels, and servants to care for them, and detectives to keep an eye on the servants, and judges to try the thieves, and politicians to appoint the judges, jails to catch the culprits, and wardens to watch the jails, and tax collectors to gather support for the wardens, and fees for the tax collectors, and strong boxes to hold the fees so that none but the guardians thereof can make off with them. And therefore, to keep this host of parasites, need other men to work for them and make the fees, because my neighbors want all this! Is that any reason that I should devote myself to such a fair and folly? and bow my neck to keep up the gaudy show. <laughs> Behold that successful businessmen, professionals, property owners, money lenders, creeping into the social ranks they once despised. Behold them lying, cheating, flicking, tricking, flattering, buying and selling themselves for any frippery, any cheap little pretense. The dominant social idea has their lives are swallowed up in it. And so the cancer goes on, rotting away the moral fiber until a man becomes a lump, a squash, a piece of slippery slime, taking all shapes and losing all shapes according to what particular hole or corner he wishes to glide into, a disgusting embodiment of the moral bankruptcy begotten by thing worship. 